Hello here, it's Heider here. Um, I'm here to review a product uh, recently I bought or I was approached by the company who makes it or sells it to actually sell it for them or buy it from them. Um, yeah, the uh, issue is, uh, or this is a, an honest or more, I th I, let's just be honest about this, uh, is a technical review on what the product does, how it works and uh, what my uh, opinion or feedback on it. Um, the product in question we're talking about is the um, is the S Pro. Um, just a shot on this one. Is the S Pro eight channel four um, K DVR, and as you can see here, four K eight megapixel AI. It's got AI uh, feature as well, and it's got a nice uh, you know lots of features. And you think yeah, it's it's a brilliant blah blah blah. And uh, on the back of it, uh, notice you have a um, picture of uh, obviously the stuff in the back as well. And in particular, uh, sorry, let me just, uh, just off. Yeah, the issue I, or the thing is in here, notice here you've got a MacBook with uh, a picture of uh, someone reviewing footage on their PC, on, on, sorry, on their Mac, and uh, you have this underneath the, uh, the fast forward and all that kind of stuff, buttons, which uh, I'll come to that in a minute. Um, anyway, so that's the S Pro review. So without further ado, let's look into the interface and how the interface works. So uh, just gonna position the camera there. Good, okay, so let's go through this. Um, the system is now installed. Um, can you see like that? No, you should be able to. Let me just see if I can put it this side. There might be a better side there. Yeah, sure. Okay. Right. Moving the. And now, as you can see, it comes up with the um, with the uh, logo of the company. Welcome to us, Pro. You think great. And I'm just going to log in as the system. Right now, by the way, I'm an admin user. Um, I can log in as admin or the admin user. It doesn't matter. Uh, they both they, I tested the same thing. Um, so anyway, you got the interface in front of you here, which has life, search, alarm, AI, AOT, and POS. The life. We'll start with this one, and uh, and just uh, obviously. As, as the interface, if, if I'm actually scaled on that one, I have to scroll up and down, which isn't really convenient. So this is, and, and also, if you notice as well here, the, the images don't look the same size, so you have to scroll the image, or basically have to do that, or you have to do this. So anyway, now we're back into a uh, the screen only shot. This should show the whole product, and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. The, annoy the first annoying bit about this product, um, when you first log in, what do you expect to see? You'd expect to see your cameras, uh, you know, who's there, who's not, that, that, that sort of stuff. But every time you log in, uh, you are greeted with this interface on life, where you have to click on this to start the channel one, then this channel two, then channel three, and then channel four. I mean, notice this takes about, about three, four seconds for things to work. Now, um, the other bit is uh, extremely annoying, uh, is the font size on, on the system. Notice in here, uh, I mean, we, we're in the 21st century for God's sake. Why do you keep, why do you write a font that takes half the screen? So if I double click on that system in here, my time showing half width. And notice, my cameras by the way installed, they are Swan 5K cameras, they are professional ones. Um, with night vision and all, and I'll come to that in a minute. But the image quality in here is an absolute appalling image. Um, I understand if we come back to um, to view uh, with the system because you first logging in, you got two types of channels. You got the um, the sub the substream, uh, which is the what we're looking at. This is the low quality channel, and you got the mainstream. So uh, at the moment, these are substreams, which understandably is the low quality. And if I go into uh, change them into mainstreams here, so one, and then just gonna walk you through it now. Uh, mainstream two, and then main 
main stream three and then main sorry main stream ah oh, come on where has it gone ah uh, stop uh, come on main stream four yep now you can see the system is doing refresh it's trying to load things up taking its time drinking whatever <clears throat> come on let's go back and maybe I need to click that you see it's just terrible interface really I'll take the A5 off I don't want to switch that on yeah so I should see A2 and A3 see all that fiddling just to try to to switch the damn thing on yeah good thank god now we have the full image now I can see everything notice Okay, this is where the problem is. First of all, and let me just check. Did I, is that mainstream? I'd have to do this again. Mainstream. Mainstream. And mainstream. There. So, finally, we have the mainstream image. Because it's higher pixel, you got the, 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 the time is actually reduced in size, which is okay. No, this is good. Now, the front side, uh, or the f camera one, if I double click there, I get a, a nice crisp image. It's not bad. Uh, you know, I wouldn't complain about the image. Um, so this is, uh, I think this is good, but it's because the system, I think it's, uh, is a, uh, running out of resources I think the last channel which is the garden isn't as good as the others so if I double click here you'll see what I mean so now look at this one now that is meant to be a five um, five K uh, sorry five megapixel camera but notice in here the image is extremely bad I mean you know you, you, you probably would say yeah the Sun but you can see the Sun is actually coming facing this way so it's coming the sun is coming that way facing this way so it's coming from from right going left so it's not coming back at us and you can see the shadow of the, that fence in here the shadow is coming down this side so that should really be the brightest and the, and, the, and the best now the other bit is i i need to see uh, you know in, in in my swan camera if i look at um, you know part of if i look at this item in here which is a uh, a folded uh, a folded uh, Donne table I should be able to read the text on it but notice the annoying part in here which is the second bit that is make the make the product completely unusable is there is no zoom features I cannot zoom onto the product I just can't do anything to the product I can't even see what's in there um, notice the the tree the, sorry the side in here is completely dithered the trees in here are completely dithered uh, and here is like a mush of stuff uh, and I can't work out where you know what the patches of the grass it's just a bad bad image this is not something I would um, classify as a as a, a 5 megapixel uh, camera now you might think uh, you know maybe it's the image maybe it's uh, the, the day maybe it's not something uh, right let me show you what the image looks like from the outside and you'll see what I mean so that's what we're looking at and this is what the same image looks like. Uh, I got my scrolls in here. Hello, one second. Just gonna give my scrolls some food. Hi, Cody. So notice in here. Hello, here. Yeah. Notice in here how crisp and clean this image is. So now looking at this one here and looking at the, the grass or the garden. And you can see now uh, the tree is a really nice crispy image and this is by the way the same type of camera that I'm recording uh, on both sides so this is a, a 5 megapixel camera I'm actually recording this video with um, and that shows how different things are and if I go on top and show you uh, just gonna increase the width in here and I go on top and show you what the thing looks like now you'll see um, it's it's 
I mean the camera I'm holding now with the aerial extension works absolutely fine. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the image, there's nothing wrong with the day or the height or the position of the camera. It's just this uh, it's a ah, sorry. It's a really bad DVR system. Now look back on what we are looking at here. Um, it's just bizarre. You know, I, I just don't think ah, just trying to get that part right. Yeah, right. I don't think or doesn't there's no no chance in hell that this um, is a 5K, is a, is a 5 megapixel camera or DVR system, right? That's a MacBook Pro, by the way, just uh, in case you wondered. But I have my Microsoft keyboard on top, so that's a MacBook. You can see here and there. Anyway, so that's the second part. Um, the image, I can't work out. So if someone is standing here, where, the, where I'm pointing on my mouse, um, there is no chance in hell I would tell if this is a man or a woman. It's just not going to... I won't be able to tell. It's just not possible. Uh, if um, if I try to look into anything on this, uh, I, I can't tell if it's a squirrel or a cat. So definitely, it's not a clear system. It's, it's, it's a bad system. That's the, the second part of it. And the fact there's no zoom functionality. I and mean, you only get these icons on the bottom here. So you've got the... The full zoom, you got the, the four cameras and you got the, the, the one image full screen. Which um, you know would I just shown you now. So you double or you double click the image itself. That, that that's how it is. So now we got that side covered. And uh, we're just gonna carry on uh, yeah, looking at this. So uh, now you think actually I don't see uh, or I don't I, I'm, I'm I can't see what I'm looking for and therefore let me quickly download the footage to see um, what uh, what it looks like, uh, or, or you just you know had an incident and you you know wondered what's going on. What, you know what can I do to find out uh, you know what's happening in there? You just close I don't know what a close life. That's fine. And then you click on search. So search is where you look for uh, look for incidents. And let's say I wanted to search for uh, yesterday here. And uh, I don't want to do cars, I want to do garden instead. And uh, I am just going to, uh, I should see uh, something coming up in here. Yeah, so it's a bit fiddly. It's just not, doesn't. So let's just, uh, yeah, so yesterday, play. Right, now. Uh, the other part is that 13th of uh, yeah that's the 13th today is the 14th of Jan tomorrow so yeah so this is the right this is the right day that's yesterday's time. The other bit is uh, notice in here there's another bug. So here you see the timeline underneath the grey bit. Uh, it's, I can't click anything on it. Uh, it's just nothing nothing clickable. And if I try to zoom in on this one, then it loads up. So now no. It's still not clickable. I can't. I can't forward this. So if I wanted to go into 10 10 a.m. in the morning, as opposed to 00, 0 a.m., uh, there is no way I can do that. I I can't. So I have to. You know, I'm doing this, for m moving it, moving the slider here for the for the time, right? But it's just not coming up. There isn't any option. This is a MacBook Pro. Um. Yeah, so, and uh, furthermore, I can't zoom in, can't do anything on that image. That's a night vision camera, as you can see. Yeah, now notice, because the system isn't really loaded or overloaded with stuff, that image, or the same camera from yesterday, showing up fine. But if I, because the daytime comes up and the image, the sensor starts to work more, uh, you get more compression going on and the system starts to really choke. Now I wonder if I add another four channels on there to, 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 to go with the whole eight channels, is, is the system going to even function at all? So, um, that's the other bit. And uh, it's really, really annoying. Uh, I just can't use the system. I can't find anything. Yeah, I mean, I t spoke to support. Uh, their support saying, uh, in, uh, yeah, the system uh, does not work. You have to install uh, something called the CSS application, which is only available on PC. 
and that's the other bottleneck. I mean, I use Mac, I don't use PCs in here, uh, and it's just, just pointless. It's just not working. It just doesn't does not work whatsoever. Um, now, going back into the search, I mean, I have a PC, I'll show you now in a minute. I have a PC to test things with, but I don't use it to primarily for, for these little things. This is just for testing stuff. So, now, as you can see, uh, I cannot search, I cannot fast forward, I cannot uh, go back in time, I cannot, you know, play backwards. Unlike other systems, I can't zoom out anything, it's just the search is completely hopeless. Now, you think, fine, um, let me, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's do plan B, let's uh, download the images into, or download the videos onto my laptop, and then I can use my, uh, you know, QuickTime or whatever tool I have to actually play that back, and that might be easier. Fine, you go into your system, and, well, this is the search tool, the same thing. You click on that little icon in here, that's what the manual says, and then you should see all the videos. And then you think, great, all the videos are here, and uh, now I can see, you know, download this stuff. Uh, so you, I would say, oh, I'm, I'm interested in that one and that one. You're going to download that, because that's where the incident did occur. And to my surprise, uh, or my shocking surprise, is there is no download icon. There is nothing to download the, the, the thing from. You, just, you know, that's all you get. You're just looking at the videos and thinking, what the hell, what, what's the point having that screen in here when, when you can't really see what, what you're going to download? Why, why put in this file listing thing when there's nothing to, 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 to get? Uh, that is unclickable. That's unclickable. You, I'm clicking it now, as you can see. Yeah, nothing happening. And you got that go button. So if I, go button, by the way, will actually take you there as opposed to, so if I click go here, it's taking me to um, to 3 a.m., which as you can see in here. But that's it. If I wanted to go to 3:30 a.m., there's you know you, you have to sit down for from 3 a.m. to 3:30 a.m. That's exactly half an hour sitting down on your chair watching the video closely, and you have to not skip the thing and not miss anything. Um, to 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 well you have to sit down for half an hour looking for that one minute footage in half an hour that happened half an hour later and there is no other tools to help you out there's nothing and then let's say you find that minute or you say oh yeah there it is then you click that thing uh, or, or you, you think oh hold on a minute i just missed it i just want to go back to it again and you, you can't you have to go back download the thing not download the thing go back another half an hour Another find out where, the, where you know where, where where the whole thing was was actually pointing at and 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 so on. So it's a complete useless system. You just unusable. You just can't use that system whatsoever. Right now, so no download button. So this will only take you there. Uh, that go as I said, it will take you uh, into the start the video for you. But you can't really do anything. So the answer from their support saying, yeah, download the CS Pro application or, or, or EXE file on your PC to do that. But what if I don't have a PC on my client? Half my clients don't have PCs. So th this is another pointless yeah, dead end. Right. So that's the other bit. It's a completely useless thing. Going back into the alarm. Um, into the alarming system and you can see you can search for stuff or events. Uh, and you can see here motion detection, for example. And double click. Nothing happened. So you click on that information, and that's it. You're just looking at stuff. Uh, what's the point? I mean, I'll, it's a it's a CCTV system. If I wanted to motion detect, and I have this information button, show me something. You know, why, why are you showing me that stuff? Event type, motion detect. Yeah, and uh, la 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 la. Nothing. It's just text, boring text. Nothing to look at. Nothing to really fancy. Uh, completely useless. Completely, completely useless. Um, yeah, so going back, forget the alarm, the waste of time. The AI, wow, you got an AI function. You can't use face detection because SMD is actually switched on. So if I go into face detection and do a search, right, and I now search for face detection, I'm going to say all. You think, yeah, all, clicking that all button will do anything, nothing. You click that, nothing happens. Stop. Uh, no face detection. You know, I've been using this for three or four days now. Now, face recognition, search, right? Again, all, nothing, can't click it. Uh, there's nothing there. Right, next one, SMD, search. And, oh yeah, fine, now we're getting somewhere. So let's see, motor vehicle, 
Double click. Information. I'll play that. Right? And honestly, with this system, you do get, uh, you know, motion detection and things will say sometimes cars uh, or car uh, detected, which is, which is okay. But the problem is there's so many, so many false positives. It, it, it's just not configurable. Um, so this is me driving my car. And if I go back into the thing, uh, motor and vehicle, let's just say, for example, uh, at 17 or 7.50 a.m., let's just see that one, for instance, see what, what's in there. Um, yeah. Now, see, it says vehicle, human and motor vehicle. Okay, fine. That's, uh, yeah, my son. I'm just going to close that now. Right, so if I go down into motor vehicle, uh, this one, this time. Yeah, now you see, it's not really motor vehicle. It's someone, is a human walking near a motor vehicle. The vehicle has not even moved. So that is one of the false positives, and that means it's actually not working. Uh, the uh, this AI feature. So AI, in, in, in essence, um, there's a difference between uh, a normal standard motion detection, which what you just saw, and AI. AI means it's using a, an artificial intelligence to work out when it sees something out there. Is this a human? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it a, is a car? That tells you, this is saying to me, it's a motor vehicle. But it's actually not a motor vehicle. That means the the AI is failing, is not really working at all. And um, if I go back in time, let's just pick on the 13th of, uh, between the 13th uh, from 00, zero on to the 13, um, uh, 20, let's just go into 8 a.m. 8, 0, 8, yeah, and then search. Now, this is all motor vehicles at midnight, right? Or 7 a.m., let's say 7 a.m., Fine, fine. Let's pick this one at 5 a.m. Yeah, let's pick this one up and see motor vehicle. By the way, this is AI function, right? Just looking at this, I'm, I'm hoping you're seeing this now. Yeah. Right. Now, you saw that motor vehicle, as you saw, is actually on the road. That's about 10 meters away from my search parameter. So my search actually, or my definition of picking up items is set actually inside, just touching the car, nothing on the road. So that's a false positive. Why would I want to, and by the way, this is the AI functionality. This is the, this is the, um, the intelligence crap they, they, they're selling you, which is, uh, you know, is pointless, doesn't make any sense. Go back in time. So I picked up one at five. Let's pick up one at six and see what, what it is. Another that's another motion and human vehicle. And let's see what that's doing. See that? Another incident. Well, hey, see that? The I'm just gonna pause this. The reason it's picking up, it's picking this up isn't because this car has moved or that car has moved or is there, there is a car coming inside the garage. That's not, none of that has happened, which what the AI is meant to do. What's happened here is the vehicle, as it goes this way from, from left to right, you got the light coming up. I'm just gonna take that back in here. The light, stop, let's go here. Yeah, see the light, yeah, as it comes up, Notice the garage. Stop. Uh, I clicked stop. See, I clicked pause, and it's to keep playing. Come on. All right. The light changes in the garage, and it's triggering the alarm saying it's actually uh, a human or a vehicle. Now, you tell me, how is that a vehicle? This is this is not a vehicle. That's not AI. That's that's all rubbish. There's nothing to do with uh, any intelligence whatsoever. I mean, this is just shadow of a car moving on the street. It has nothing to do with the garage I set the whole parameter on. Also, to highlight this for you as well. So I'm going to close this. 
closer here. Come on, close please. Yeah. So now we're going back. Let's just close this live thing. And we're going back into the um, the system again. So we're just while watching this up now. So going into settings and then account or sorry, camera. Just to show you what's been set up already. So if I go to encode, just to be on the safe side, um, on channel four, the one we talked about is the bad one. And you can see here, the quality of it is 2592 by 1944, which is five megapixel. And that meant to be five megapixel. And the substream is actually set to lows, which is CIF, which is okay, that's fine. But you can see here, there is nothing on that screen to cause the image to be really bad. Um, so, I I in essence, the image quality is not really 5 megapixel or not as described. So, now going into the uh, the uh, image, just to show you the how it's been set up or the parameter is. And if I go to um, channel uh, 1, that's fine. Standard, color mode, that's fine. Channel type, no PTZ. Yeah, that's another bit I wanted to, to talk to you about in a second. Overlay, yep, settings, yeah, now the other bit, um, now you're trying to change the time, you click on setting, and you're trying to replace the time, and notice in here, the time is actually defined there, but look, the time is actually showing here, so that's, I mean, that's, that's a minor, it's not a big deal, but um, take this off, the channel time, go back to the image. I should take this whole thing down. Set network storage system. Uh, yeah, let's go back into life again. Now, you go back into life again, you have to go back and then click one, two, three, and then four, which is incredibly annoying. It's just a really pointless thing. Um, the other bit is, uh, the one I wanted to talk to you about, is this PTZ in here. Now, the default setting is, or default installation is, you have a camera installed on the system. Not many p users will have PTZ installed. PTZ means point, tilt, and zoom, which basically means the camera has got a motor, and then the motor will actually, you know, go left, on, uh, sorry, uh, rotate the camera, tilt it, zoom it, whatever it is. Not many people will have that functionality, right? So that's the PTZ uh I would say 80% of the time is actually redundant. This is pointless. Uh, I wouldn't say, yeah. So now the pointless bit I'm talking about in here is actually that screen in here. So I cannot really get rid of it. Uh, there is no close button to close this whole nuisance that I have to wait and watch every time I watch the video. Um, there is no, uh, you know, that zoom functionality does not exist, it doesn't work unless you have a PTZ. So this is all meant to be for PTZ, which isn't something I'm using anyway. Um, so again, no zoom, no functionality to, to do the zooming. Uh, PTZ, you can't hide the menu. And uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, and, and to, to, to search back onto your, your footage, uh, to search it, uh, you just click something and uh, you know, nothing works so on a Mac. I cannot get that timeline. Now, let me close this piece. And by the way, this page, by the way, I don't know if you've seen this warning in here. This page is designed so badly that it takes this web page. Let's just see that warning. This web page is using significant energy. Closing it may improve the system performance of your Mac. So that that how bad this page is. So anyway, I'm going to close it. Let's just close that page, right? So got rid of it. Now, moving the, moving it down into a PC. PC is no difference. Sorry, no difference apart from one thing. I hope that thing was recording. Now, moving on onto the other part. And this is the most annoying part I wanted to show you. Um, at the moment, uh, I left that, well, this is now moving on to a PC. PCs, uh, as you can see, the screen looks the same. There's not a huge difference between Mac and PC. They, are, they both look fine. Um, the problem is, I left this system for over 10-15 minutes uh, intentionally just to uh, let it time out. Now, as you can see, before I go do anything, 
if you look at the the time in here, you'll see it's counting. So you have got 1444, 06, 07, 08, and this is happening on all cameras. You can see all all of them are switched on, and you can see the um, the you know thing is counting. But 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 if I go into um, let's say now as it is now, um, someone walks in over there coming from the street down onto that side and I want to either do um, make this into a mainstream or double click to to put this into a, uh, a full screen mode to see exactly who's, who's coming and I have to do this right now and I can't wait that's all to do with the uh, real time so if I double click this and this is what I get and that's the annoying part of this whole thing really really annoys me so much because now look at this it says notes connection timeout and then okay then you think um yeah it could be session timeout and whatever i've done something wrong you close that screen but then come look at this it's still counting the screen is still showing the video as if nothing happens so what is it is it really connection timeout or is it just some bad um, badly implemented product that does not really work so, uh, as you can see here now, it's not nothing to time out. If I click on that one, I get the same thing. Close the screen and then move on. Um, I wanted to zoom into the full screen mode, so I click on that one, and that looks, looks fine. And if I wanted to double click, double click back, connection timeout. Right, so if I do that, connection timeout. And if I do this, connection timeout. But it's actually doing it. And if I do that, also connection timeout. Go back, and you got now the videos are all dead or died or whatever. So if I wanted to click this guy here, connection timeout. Yeah. So it is very annoying. I mean, this is this is this happens every 15 minutes. This is not meant to happen. Eventually, you have a system whereas you really really want to leave it on uh someone like me i like to leave this on i'm i'm doing some programming or doing some some calls all day whatever it is i'm working on this i'm looking at the screen and i'm just catch my eye something happens on the thing and i want to click on it to, to find out what's going on you click on it, you get this connection time out because oh my god this to, to, to solve it you just go into click okay and then it takes you back to the login screen i'll t just time this out so now i have to type in my username um and the password right and i have to click on life again and i have to click on every single camera so i have to click on this wait and then click on that wait click on this wait and then click on that wait. and then this whole experience is a nightmare i mean i can't now that the person has probably did what he wanted to do and he's now gone buggered off did something else and I completely lost that moment. Then I think, actually, yeah, let me um, go back in time and find out what this person did, or uh, you know what, what exactly has happened. He closed the life. Oh, let's just leave the life view open. Go to settings. Oh, sorry, go to uh, yeah, close that life thing, and go to search. And then you click on the search. Now you can see this is different than the, the Mac bit here. So if I wanted to go back on yesterday. And I wanted to go back into garden, say. Uh, I get that that green time, uh, you know, time showing here, unlike the Mac. So if I wanted to click on, say, uh, 12:30 midday, right? I now see 12, 30, you know, 12, 25, 12, 30, whatever it is. So I now can see it within it was in the PC. But again, I cannot fast forward. There's no fast forward uh, or, or playback or motion, whatever it is. I can't zoom in on anything. I can't really tell what where it is. So, it really is a pointless system. Uh, it just does, doesn't really work at all. So I can't search. I can't play back. I can't do anything. Um, you know, also downloading thing. You think maybe you know it's a PC. You got that little file thing in here. Just tick those two and you click go. Nothing happens. Nothing. I cannot download anything. There's no download button. And when I spoke to support about this. The support response was, uh, you know, um, unfortunately, uh, this doesn't work. You need to use the CSS Pro, whatever it is app they use on, on a PC. And as you can see, 
I use Mac all the time. I don't use PCPs here. I have them just for testing quickly, quick, quick, quick items. But I don't really have a PC per se to 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 for professional. And my customers don't certainly. Anyway, uh, I mean, if you if you compare the system with a with the older with, with the older one or the or the I would say the better ones like the Swan or Anki or uh, or uh, what's it called. Uh, HK Vision, or um, you know, there, there's, there's tons of stuff there uh, out there on Amazon. Um, they they will they will all all will work fine. There's nothing wrong with them. But it's just that system is a, is a an extreme, expensive, uh, too much, doesn't work, and is a waste of time and money. And uh, I, I I can't recommend this to anybody. The company approached me is. Uh, it's called Luxrite Security. Uh, the person uh, over there, her name is Sam. She was the one who approached me because she 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 saw me selling uh, CCTV cameras online. Uh, sorry, not online. So she's selling them and installing them myself. And she decided actually, yeah, why don't you use our products? And I said, yeah, fine, let's give it a go. So we give it a go, and uh, they sold me the product. Uh, I went and installed it. The customer was so annoyed that he called me on site to actually show me the thing I actually could not believe it myself I took the thing uh, took it back and as I was going back to get a refund or asked demanded a refund within 14 days or actually within seven days the uh, the Luxrite security Sam came back saying sorry we can't refund it because uh, you know it's it's now second hand it's like what the hell are you talking about this is this is sorry let me just show you the emails from here this is a um, where is it gone? Sam, here we go. And Sam again. There we go. So that's the email from Sam. I just wanted to, to show you what, what I'm talking about in here. Come on, just zoom on. Let's just zoom onto this so you see what. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you what exactly I showed her, I told her, and, and what she came back with. So I listed about, um, you know, a nine or ten faults on the system just to say this is unusable i need my money back uh, i'm happy to return it and i compare the saying swan does this hk uh, vision real link anki they all do nice the old product doesn't and she came back saying i'm sorry to hear that you're not having good experience with our product um i've forwarded your email to our technical team blah 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 i do not uh, i i do just i do just need to make you aware that we couldn't be able to accept the return item back as they have been installed so it would be classified as second hand which would wouldn't be able to sell on uh, is this my problem no it is your problem you need to return it and you're going to return it and refund it and otherwise i will take you to court the reason i say that because i went back into sam and i said to her look this is uh, and by the way this is for you to know as well in case you have a similar problem with a similar customer or similar sorry supplier this is the UK law, and you can say whatever you like. So I'm just going to take you to the government website. That's the government website, uh, in case you needed to know. That's what it is. www.gov.uk slash accepting dash returns dash and dash giving dash refunds. So you should go with that link. This should tell you exactly what uh, the government is saying. And here we go. Accepting returns and giving refunds, the law. You must offer a full refund of an item is faulty, not as described, or does not do what is it supposed to do. Now, my classification is, it's not faulty, but it's not as described, correct, or does not do what it's supposed to do. Um, it's supposed to uh, do CCTV, and it doesn't. It's supposed to uh, give me, I'll just go back to what I said here earlier on the pack of the unit. I'm just going to show you that image again. So this is the box of the product. Now, notice on that one in here. If you focus on it or, or take a picture of it, you'll see that's a MacBook and the person is actually viewing on his Mac, not on the unit itself, uh, a, a, a playback of, uh, of, of an incident. And you also have the little, you know, zoom in, zoom out, pan into whatever it is, which isn't really on the screen whatsoever. So that image in here is actually a lie. It's not really a, a proper image. Uh, so that's one thing to, 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 to look for. So anyway, uh, there's a lot of things on to read on the on the government website. Obviously, feel free to go and check. It's the law. It's the law. 
you, you can't really uh, you know escape the law in, in, on, on, that, on that occasion unfortunately now the other bit is I wanted to talk about is the app now you think uh, you know the app is brilliant or the app is rubbish I don't know uh, there's an app for that so you're going to look at it here and notice there there's the app so sorry just gonna back in time it's called uh, DMSS and you flip that in and you get that little frickin oh sorry I wouldn't say frickin you get that little screen um, and you can see in here on the on the on the system half of it is empty this half has nothing on it you, you know is you know, wasted this half half of it is wasted because they put some some crap in here for you you click this and it says accessory linkage no accessories what the hell is what is that what, so what, what is that supposed to mean what am I using that for why are you putting it on my main screen right what is the point now you, you, then your videos comes up come up in here and it's like this little you know small icons that has nothing I don't know you know who's gonna look at those you click on this one and then you get that image it takes time to scale whatever and then now you get the thing the thing is there and uh, you know now you can you can zoom on something like here using your iPhone but it's a bad image right yes of course there will be this high definition so I'm gonna switch to high definition now and I can show you this you see those tiles in here this is not really high definition this is nowhere near high definition the image quality is bad it's dithered see that here that's compressed that's I'm just gonna see if I can do that yeah so see this that's the main road so that's the, my garage that's the pavement that's the main road and yesterday's footage I would talked about earlier the car was moving exactly here so uh, you know it shouldn't really pick up anything on here but now this is not really 5k that's hardly any any HD yeah so this is what uh, what well, the system is, is is not really doing well. So now let's say you wanted to go to the other camera. So now you're here on that screen, um, and then you think, what am I doing now? Uh, why is not, why is only one camera showing? Then you have to click the plus button. You have to click that in here, and then you have to click, for example, garage, and that will show you here the same thing. So uh, and then plus and then garden, right? And now. This is how bad the system is. This is after adding the fourth camera, the system starts to slow down. It just can't cope with the pressure. Now this one, I'm going to switch down to high definition, which is, now I can see the icon in here. Uh, can, you can see this, but you should be able to see HD down there. And now if I zoom on, I still can't work out the thing of that garden. I really can't work. On my Swan system, and I'll show you that later, I can work this out absolutely fine. I can see the grass so crisp and clear like I see it in this footage. Yeah. So, um, my intake on this, um, yeah, oh sorry, the other bit is, let's take this down here and now I'll show you um, this DMSS app. So, uh, do I, did I hope I didn't get rid of these notifications. Did I kill, I think I killed them all. That's fine. Yeah, anyway. Um, let's go back into the app and I'll see if I can get events messages there we go so messages if I go back into messages in here now look at this uh, 13 so now I'm looking at messages on the 13th of uh, yesterday so if I look into a message at um, let's just go uh, I can't load anything before let's just look at the message on 11 a.m. Now, motion detection. Let's see what it is. Let's go back into here. I'm not looking for this. I'm looking for something else. Hold on. Let's look into not the front door, the garage. No, sorry, the cars. That's that's why that's the bit that annoys me most, the cars bit. So if I go into uh, ten, right, and I can see all these events. Uh, sorry, I want to look at yesterday. That's what I need to do. Yeah. And I'm going to go back into, say, yeah. See, now, do you honestly, looking at that screen, do you believe that all these are actually vehicles moving in and out? So let's just pick one up. 
620. Now, look into this. See? This is what happens. The phone is next to me at night, and all of these notifications come up because that vehicle went on the road, which has nothing to do with uh, with someone be being home. So any vehicle passes on the road, that thing will trigger. Yeah? And if I go into a 1600, say for example, yeah, let's just see this is daytime. And that says vehicle. Yeah? It's not vehicle, it's a human. The vehicle hasn't moved. Yeah? No vehicle moved in there. Pick some other time. See? See this notification? Did you see that? There's nothing in there. I'm just going to play it back for you. It's literally nothing, absolutely nothing in there that worth this notification. Why are you notifying me? Why are you trying to say to me? This is supposed to be AI system that was, uh, that was hypothetically uh, intelligent enough to distinguish between a, a, a man and, and an airplane. Right? Sorry, that's just not... That's not AI. There's nothing to do with AI. Anyway, so... All in all, you're asking me about this product. Um, my verdict is, as you can probably guess, do not buy it. Do not get anything. Don't get that product. It's, it's really bad. Uh, don't waste your time. I, I would suggest go to Amazon, do a search, do, a, do your own research, go to YouTube, find out what's uh, what's best, and then buy things this way if you are a consumer. If you are a business, you can call me. I, I, I test these all the time. And reviews are more. I don't really put the reviews online uh, much because just to protect the identity, unless the guys act nastily like this, this company, Locks Right Security, uh, they are now challenging me, saying, uh, you know, they can't refund the item because uh, it's second hand, blah blah blah. Even though by law I reported this within 14 days. Now you can see I I deal with a lot of security cameras in place. You can see there's uh, crates down there, so you got uh, you know the. The Techno, you've got uh, the Anki, you've got the Swan, uh, and I've got also all sorts of testing equipment in here to, to install and test uh, CCTV footage and videos and all that kind of stuff, all that kind of things in the showroom. This whole thing is there, is, is a nice built area for testing and, 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 and research and development. So, I don't know, it's, it's, it's bad. This product is really bad. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody, and I don't really recommend you buying from this company either uh, unfortunately I, I don't usually say that but this company annoyed me up so much that they challenged me so I said uh, they, they wanted me to to post evidence online that their product is doing what it's doing and that's what I'm doing this video for so I'm gonna put this online uh, so them for them to see it and if they still insist this is not a good n not, not a not a an interesting problem then I'm gonna publish it online for all of you can see and, and judge by yourself and then we'll, we'll see how this go from there so anyway the thank you for watching hopefully you had a good time and uh, hope, um, that all um, you know happy new year <laughs> whatever it's worth and uh, we'll talk soon thanks bye bye